If I were to ask you, what is that one piece of technology you cannot do without in your daily lives? I bet most of you in this room would say, your mobile phones. If we grab it the first thing in the morning, and we don't leave our homes without it these days. But have you ever thought, what happens to these devices when they're outdated and old? They all end up as electronic waste. Technology is highly integrated into our lives. And in this constant need for the most high-tech products, all of us are unknowingly contributing to massive amounts of e-waste. It is the second most dangerous waste in the world after nuclear waste, and we have no idea how to get rid of it. Australia alone produces an amount of e-waste that can fill 90,000 garbage trucks every year, and only 4% of that is recycled. The main problem lies with the materials, plastics and silicon, which are used to make billions of these devices every year. In a few years, you might have a flexible phone like this, but again, made from the same materials, and the cycle of dumping old phones will continue, piling up the waste. To solve this challenge, I'm redesigning the future of electronic devices. And for inspiration, I turn to a piece of paper. Comes from natural resources, environment friendly, and 100% biodegradable. I am making the next generation semiconductor nanomaterials, which are entirely organic in nature. Made from naturally occurring carbon and hydrogen, these materials can be recycled several times and can replace all your current electronic devices. The thickness of these materials is 100 times thinner than a strand of human hair, 10 times stronger than steel, and can hold 3 billion circuits in the size of your fingernail. We grow them by a process called vapor deposition, physically stacking atom over atom, molecule over molecule, to make these devices, just like 3D printing, but with atoms. This gives them the flexibility to be bent into any shape like a piece of paper. Now imagine. Having a mobile phone like this on your wrist in a few years, but made from my organic nanomaterials. Conventional electronic devices today run on electricity to process information and carry data. My organic nanomaterials, on the other hand, use light. And light travels much faster than electricity, making the performance of these devices a thousand times faster than the best computers today. You can literally be carrying a supercomputer folded like a pocket square with you at all times. Mobile phones and electronic devices made from my organic nanomaterials will always keep you up to date with the latest technology without the guilt of e-waste. Thank you.